Okay, here's a very short review of Axalius, Axalius Icon Workshop. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, this is what it does. So um, I'm just going to make a quick icon and you'll see how that works. Click on New, Icon Project for Microsoft Windows. Uh, here I always start at 256 by 256. You can always make things smaller later. Give my icon a name. Click OK. Now the basic gist of how to make an icon is that you drag and drop little bits from over here or you can draw directly on the canvas here. You have some basic drawing tool tools here but they're not very good but they're they're adequate. Typically what I do if I need to draw something fancy is doing it in a different paint program and then bring it over. Sort of the power comes from this set of pre-baked graphics that you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and make something. So I'll just draw, drag and drop a, uh, a shape down there, another shape here, and maybe I'll draw some something in the in the center. Pick a nice color here. Draw a key. Okay, and now maybe I want to make it a little bit shiny looking so I can add a glossy effect to it there. There's a whole bunch of different glossy effects. Control Z to undo here. Try a different one there. Maybe I want to darken it up a little bit so I might use the, the brightness contrast and drop the brightness down a little bit and reapply my border. And now when I assign my little shiny thing, it'll look a little shinier. And then there's some additional effects down here, like I could give it a little, little red glow if I wanted to, or so on and so forth, or maybe a one over there. Drop a shadow down behind it. Press the end key to move it to the back and the arrow keys to shift it around a little bit. You can see here is a preview of the one to one scale of it. If you click on here you can see what it looks like on different backgrounds. So let's pretend that I'm now happy with my icon. The next thing I do is I click on draw and I say add, roll, add several image formats from this image. And now I can tell it all these different sizes that I want and different color um, formats as well. And then when it resizes it, you can apply a filter to it. Click OK. And now you can see it's created all of these subformats for me. Now typically what I'll do is I'll go back in here and I will I'll tweak some of these to make them look best at that, for, at that particular format. The 16 by 16 one, I'll often do something like select the whole thing and delete it and then come back and redraw it from scratch because 16 by 16 often needs its own sort of special attention. So maybe I might come in here and then draw the, the symbol special. Down here to look good in 16 by 16. And then when I get it how I like it, do there and then basically at this point all I do is say file save as and save it and it's good to go.